Do Katsu the Moki. Huh? Look at this. Four finger links. It's enough for two for a row. So this four finger, four finger. It's enough for one row. This one sushi row. Right? <clears throat> these you can save these and then you can do it for the Sunomono or not. There you go. I'll bring it closer so you can take a look. I'm, taking, no, I'm not doing this as thin. I'm just doing this for, you know, for sushi rolls. The stuff that like the stuff that goes in the California roll, spicy tuna, and whatnot. You know. The important thing is you don't move your knife. You move your cucumber, but don't move your knife. Like angle, yeah, just move. Up and down, up and down. That's it, and then the, the pit you don't need. And I'll skip ahead after I'm finished cutting out everything else. I'll call back. I'll call back to you guys. All right, guys. So this is how it looks like after done. I use this one, usuba, usuba knife for the katsuramuki. Now I'm gonna switch over to the. This is uh, a yanagi, a short yanagi, to cut the uh, cucumber. You want to use a uh, single bevel knife instead of your usual kitchen knife. It'll make it last longer, more crispier. I'm going to see you guys later. Alright, so you lay it down. Lay it straight. So you put skin, meat, skin, meat, skin, meat, like the flesh, skin, flesh, skin, flesh, skin. So your so your knife doesn't slip on the second second knife. Okay. So when you cut, you want to do a forward motion. You don't do top and bottom. Do a forward motion, yeah. Okay? Like so. And that's what you're in. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Please like, subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.